Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and today I'll be showing you uh, TFT settings that every single person playing the game should change, in my opinion. Uh, and also, how to install Master Config, because that's basically just like the optifying of TF2. There's no reason not to get it. Alright, um, so first things first, I'm going to show you how to get Master Config, because you can just do that before booting your game. Uh, go on your browser of choice, go to the link in the description, or just masterconfig.com slash app. Um, and then choose your preset. In my case, it's high. In most people's cases, it should probably still be high because modern computers are great. But if your TF2 has any kind of FPS issues, go try medium first, then try medium low, then try low. Uh, there's no reason to ever go beyond low. I had a really old laptop, I think from 2012, uh, with like a graphics card no one's ever heard of, including myself. It was running like maybe 25 to 30 FPS on low, uh, with, w without low as a preset. When I installed Master Config Low, it went from like 30 FPS to like 200. Um, so yeah, I, I cannot recommend this enough. Everyone should get it. It's free. If it's ever paid, maybe don't get it, but otherwise it's free. Uh, so pick your preset, whatever you think works. Uh, if you need Ultra, then go ahead with that. Then also select Flat Mouse and No Tutorial. Uh, and if you're on Mac or Linux, hit OpenGL as well. And then right here, those will say like download blank preset. In my case, it's high and selected add-ons. If you click that, it'll download it all in your downloads folder. Uh, and now that you have all those files, uh, you want to go back to just your uh, Steam library. Uh, well, first, actually, you want to open your downloads folder, and right? you'll have these three VPKs or something like that instead of high, it'll be like medium or something. Anyway, from there, you hit right click TF2, hit properties, local files, browse, and go to TF and custom. And then drop these files in here. I'd also recommend uh, getting mods because I think they're good. You know, custom sound effects and a custom HUD are really nice. If you want to do any of that, I have a video linked in the description as well, so you should go check that out. Uh, anyway, once you have all that, you simply can run the game, and it'll automatically just optimize things for you. But when you're in game, there's also uh, there's also a few things you should change uh, in the game settings themselves. Which I will go over now. Um, well, not now. Whenever, <laughs> whenever the game actually loads, it shouldn't take too long. To, there we go. Uh, so for everyone with default HUD in the bottom right here, you'll have the options and advanced options tabs. That's all we're going to be looking at right now. So just at the bottom right of your screen, it'll be there. Uh, first, go to options, then hit advanced, and check mark both of these boxes if they aren't already. Then hit OK. Uh, then also in multiplayer, you can set up a spray if you haven't done that. I recommend doing that. I think it's cool. And uh, obviously in video, uh, make sure you're at your right resolution and right sensitivity. I mean, that stuff should all be pretty obvious. Uh, then the stuff that you actually care about changing would be in advanced options. You want to check mark right here, fast weapon switch, auto reload weapons, um, Display damage done as text over your target. Uh, just play a sound when the sniper rifle is fully charged. Uh, Medigun continues healing without holding down the fire button. And display a marker over the player you're healing. Uh, I also do recommend... Uh, where is it? Display ping values as text on the scoreboard. That's a pretty essential one. Uh -oh. Disable HTML mods can be nice. Uh, some servers will not let you play if you have HTML disabled, uh, which is unfortunate. That's the only reason I would ever enable it, but this is basically what lets servers play ads whenever you join them. So also, if you care about supporting servers a lot, you can you know uh, leave them enabled. So that's like kind of an optional one. Um, automatically respawn after loadout changes in respawn, zone, respawn zones. I mean, that, that one's kind of brain dead. Uh, use minimized view models is a really good one. I'll show that off more. And you should actually uncheck Disable Sprays, in my opinion. Yet again, if you don't want to see sprays, then don't have it like that. But I think most people do. So you want to enable sprays. And that's pretty much it um, for the direct settings. But let me go show you the other changes that we'll be making, um, which rely around the developer console. So what you want to do uh, real quick while I'm loading in here, is go to Options, uh, just the normal one, 
and scroll down all the way to the bottom, and there will be a thing that just says, uh, right, if you go to options, scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see Toggle Developer Console will have a button bound to it. You want to press that button, right? Just like that. Uh, and you want to type a few commands, which will all be linked in the description on separate lines. CL ask blacklist opt out one, you want to do that. Uh, CL ask favorites opt out one, you want to do that. Um, and both of those will basically make it so whenever you leave a server, you won't have that annoying thing asking you, do you want to favorite the server, do you want to blacklist it? I don't know why that's default, but you should turn those off, just like I did right here. Um, and like I said, in advanced options, you want the um, minimize view models on. Right? If I have that unchecked, you'll see now things will take up a lot more of my screen. I think the defaults are also something like this. Um, I think this is the default stuff right here, where everything takes up a ton of your screen, you can barely see anything, right? So what you want to do first things first is that in advanced options, you want to find, uh, use minimized emails, turn that on, and already just from that alone, you get so much more screen space, it's amazing. Uh, then next up, you want to open the console again with your console button, type in view model FOV 70. 70 is pretty much the max you can do. Uh, you'll see it looks fine here, but if I go to Soldier, for example, and I equip the original, um, you can see right now it's fine, but if I do view model, be, let's say 90, you'll see there's now a hand on the side of my screen for no real reason, uh, which is why you want it on 70. Right. Then it's just at the furthest it can be while still actually being there. Um... And then the only other thing you want to do is FOV underscore desired 90, which just kind of makes your overall FOV a little bit bigger. There's no real downside to this, and I think 90 is the max value. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much all the settings I'd recommend changing uh, every time that you're, uh, I don't know, starting TFT fresh for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, hopefully this helps someone. Especially if they're new, hopefully you guys saw this and were able to uh, figure stuff out. Like I said, I also recommend like changing your HUD, where you can see my screen will obviously look different from yours right now. I think it looks a lot more clean, uh, and that's because I'm using a custom HUD. I have a video in the description. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.